Ray Drive in the museum's 1956 Golden Hawk. Um, Andy, why don't you tell the people a little bit about this uh, very snazzy car? Well, this is one of the about 4,000 1956 Studebaker Golden Hawks built. This is a pretty rare model now. It's got a manual transmission, three speed with overdrive. It is finished in Romany red and snow cap, right, snow cap white. It is one of uh, two red and white with red and black interior cars that were built that year. Very nice. So we'll be taking this out to do a photo shoot with it this weekend, hopefully, for our 2020 museum calendar. So were these cars popular in 1956? Yeah, this was Studebaker's top of the line model. These sold for a little over $3,000 and it was one of the more popular models. And this one has all 56 Golden Hawks had the Packard 352 V8. Uh, this was really the only product that reflected the merger of Studebaker and Packard in 1954. Very nice. Do we know anything about this car's particular history? Like where it went to? Uh, it came to us from uh, Mr. Roy Pearson up in Michigan. And thank you, Roy, for your generous gift. And this was actually at our inaugural Concours in 2018. Museum's first Golden Hawk in our collection? It's our first 56 Golden Hawk we've had. There's always some gaps in the museum collection we're trying to fill, so this fit in nicely with our collection. Whoops, I'm not sure we're going to be able to oh. get through here, Maria. Oh dear. Oh well, we'll just go up one more. <laughs> oh darn. Very new. Yeah, how many of you out there remember three speed <laughs> transmissions on the steering column like this one has? Could you buy them in something different? These Golden Hawks? It's either this or an automatic. Mm. Do you know if they sold more automatics or manuals this year? Oh, definitely automatics. Okay. Traditionally, automatic was always the most popular choice. Given the choice between shifting and not shifting, you know, which one, which one would you take? <laughs> Although can, I prefer shifting. Can you give the people one more fact about the 1956 Golden Hawk before we go? I can. 56, if you shoot out the front there, Maria, you see the little bubble hood scoop there? Yep. That was only used on the 56 Hawks. Every oh. other year after that had a full length hood scoop with a little Thunderbird style scoop. Uh, that's only in 56. Oh, very nice. Thanks for watching, everybody.